Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey of Wrestling. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, all my plans fell apart once again for War Games, so make sure to go back and check out that episode. The entire playlist is linked in the description. And before we get started here, guys, if you can do two things for me first, hit that like button if you enjoy my content, it does help me out a lot. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you do not miss an episode whenever I upload, you will be notified. And without further ado, guys, let's get right back into booking NXT TakeOver War Games. Okay, so to get started here, I'm noticing something here saying top 50 ranking two months i don't really know what that means uh but i guess we're gonna find out in two months but anyway we got nxt takeover war games tonight guys a very insane card is going down at least the main event will be okay so peyton royce and shaney baser got to be the second highest feud now hmm. interesting okay so to start off the evening we're gonna book the war games match right off the bat so let's do that we have oh guys i'm also doing a tournament tonight for the vacant cruiserweight championship so that's gonna be exciting i hope you guys are excited for that hopefully i don't mess up a tournament like i did last time but i think i i think i got the gist now so we should be good so the war games match is going to be adam cole kevin owens alistair black big e johnny gargano and braun Strowman. boom book that war 130 dollars jiba okay but look at the rivalries we got in this we got a uh, new challenger at 229 which is the tag team feud we got rivals which is braun Strowman versus biggie at 124 which is a previous rivalry and then we got alistair black versus biggie at 182 which is uh the world championship feud that's been going on lately uh let's just check here if anything needs to blow off that's going to be at seven out of eight so let's blow that off another match i know i'm doing is Peyton Royce versus Shayna Baszler, and that will be the I quit match. Perfect, and we'll add a blow off to that as well. Crap, I'm blowing off blow both my world championship views. I just realized that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I think I will be able to figure it out. Always figure it out later, right? That's what we do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go segments. We're going to go stare down. Perfect, and we are going to put singles. And we are going to go Peyton Royce and where you at, girl? Tony Storm, our next big women's championship feud will start this evening between Peyton Royce and Tony Storm. Let's add the feud here. New challenger. Perfect. And that is good to go. Okay. Other than that, back to singles. Wow. We have no other feuds left. But what I do know I'm going to do is just going to have Roderick Strong versus jeff hardy for the cruiserweight championship so let's just or sorry the north american championship so let's just add that and then we'll go tag team and we'll have inner circle uh versus the bliss tide which is going to be a tag team match for the uh, nxt tag team championships and now let's try to book the tournament without messing it up maybe i'll book the fresh people of Bel Air tonight as well who knows select tournament going to be for the cruiserweight championship elimination starts semi-finals yeah so that's the final four right nxt cruiserweight championship this is right right because we're just going to have the semi-finals. So that'll be the final four, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So we're going to have B. Priestley, Killian Dane, Ricochet, and I guess... To, uh, I can do Jordan Devlin. No, we need another baby face. We don't have any other baby faces. Riho. Yeah, Riho. Riho. Do Riho. That makes sense. Okay. Perfect. Create bracket. Yeah. I like the way this looks. Perfect. And create tournament. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Okay. Where where did the Huh? Where did the stare down go between uh Shayna ba between Peyton what? Hey, 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 everyone relax here. Why did that get get deleted? Did I delete that? I don't think so. Wait, why did this get deleted? This better not be a little uh something weird. Anyway, Peyton Royce and tony storm okay the feud is still there but where is the match dude i swear i'm not crazy guys where is the segment i don't want to book it again okay wait let me just go to the menu and come back and see if that fixes it yeah okay it's back Whew. Whew, whew, whew. <laughs> that was weird anyway <laughs> i don't know if i want to make this eliminate no i don't need any more gimmicks it's a gimmick heavy show unless i want to do the no no no, no i don't i don't this looks fine are all the championships booked? I feel like it's not. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think this is our card for tonight, guys. I'm going to add blow off to Killian Dane versus Ricochet. Yeah, because I want that feud to end. And then I'm going to go backstage attack. Perfect. 
Uh, I need to select participants. We're going to go backstage attack. We're going to go ricochet and be Priestley. So I believe this is our card for tonight, guys. To start off the evening, we're going to have an impromptu match between Jeff Hardy and Roderick Strong because Roderick Strong got injured. Jeff Hardy's tag team partner, Ray Phoenix, who was supposed to get this opportunity. And now Jeff Hardy is taking his place. Uh, right after that, uh, Riho is going to take on B Priestley in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament Semi-Finals to crown a new Cruiserweight Champion. And then right after that, Killian Dane is going to take on Ricochet in the tournament as well. And then after that, we're going to have uh, the new team of Bliss Tide trying to take the Tag Team Championships from the Inner Circle, Jericho and Gibson. Okay, perfect. And make sure I put the right people. Awesome. And then right after that, we're going to have the Cruiserweight Championship Finals to crown the new Cruiserweight Champion. And then B Priest is going to attack Ricochet backstage, starting a new rival there and then uh, Shayna Baszler is going to try her last attempt here to get the women's championship from Peyton Royce in an I quit match and then Peyton Royce is going to have a stare down with her new challenger Tony Storm after that match and then in the main event in a war games match for the NXT world championship we're gonna have Braun Strowman versus Johnny Gargano versus Biggie versus Aleister Black versus Kevin Owens versus Adam Cole for a huge main event, which I hope will draw 11 million stars. But I said that last year and it did not work. Every time I say last year, just know I mean last year in the game, not last year in real life. So I don't have to clarify that every time. <laughs> And let's start this event, guys. NXT presents NXT TakeOver War Games live tonight in, full of, in front of a fully packed audience. Fan interest is high for the event, which is headlined by Aleister Black versus Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens versus Johnny Gargano versus Big E versus Braun Strowman for the NXT World Championship in a War Games match. One of the most anticipated matches of the night is Peyton Royce versus Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship in an I Quit match. Other matches that have fans buzzing include In Inner Circle versus Bliss Tide for the NXT Tag Team Championships and Killing Dane versus Ricochet. Continue to see our predictions. I do not have a lot of rivalry going into this show and all the big rivalries that i do have are in one match apart from the women's championship so i'm very interested to see how this show is going to go the predictions by eden pierce are as follows he predicts that adam cole will win the world championship 70 percent chance that peyton royce will retain and 30 percent chance that Shayna baszler will win the title uh he believes the inner circle will retain ricochet will win uh b Priestley will win uh, he didn't predict the finals for some reason, but then in the North American Championship match, he predicts that Roderick Strong will retain. And let's see how he did on his predictions. Yeah, impromptu match. This is not rivalry. This is just a match that I wanted to put the championship on the card. And Roderick Strong is going to pick up the victory. Wow, went down a lot for Jeff Hardy for some reason. Okay, four and a half stars. I'm happy with that. I couldn't have asked for more than four and a half stars with no rivalry, but... Two strong workers here. They pulled out a good match. Continuing on, this is Cruiserweight Championship semi-final, and Beat Priestley is going to pick up the victory here. Moving on in the next round in a five-star match. Good job, Beat Priestley and Riho. Once again, did not think that was going to do that great. So good, good job. No rivalry there. And then we got Killian Dane versus Ricochet here, who do have a rivalry, and uh, Ricochet is going to put down Killian Dane. I know Killian Dane is not a cruiserweight, but don't worry, he's not winning anyway. But anyway, Ricochet is going to get a lot of popularity by being Killian Dane here, but four stars okay can't still can't complain jealous feud between killing dane and ricochet ended with a blow off at three and three quarter stars that's not bad whatever the feud wasn't that long for the tag team championships here uh we're gonna have inner inner circle um retain the tag team championship against a game challengers five star match again okay good job good job so nine more points to their feud inner bliss tide and inner circle put on a hot match booster overness by five percent zach gibson is on his way to becoming the face of the company good job zachy poo I have no idea why I said that. Okay, continuing on. Cruiserweight Championship final. Whoever wins this match wins the Cruiserweight Championship, the recently vacated title. And B Priestley is going to pick up the Cruiserweight Championship here in a five and a quarter star match. Wow, good job, guys, with no feud. Oh my goodness. Okay, B Priestley won the Cruiserweight Championship. Blista, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and that is it there. Good job, guys. Honestly, I'm very proud. <laughs> continuing on right after that b Priestley is going to come and attack ricochet to put insult to injury after taking the cruiserweight championship and ricochet's first opportunity and now attacking him backstage after that match as well in a five-star segment and a pretty decent few to start off at 75 ricochet spot monkey gimmick progressed from not good to average okay i once again i might need to change his gimmick i forgot about that actually but uh that's okay it is progressing so that's a good thing continuing on this is the nxt we're almost at the end of the card guys jesus peyton royce defending her championship at i quit match against Shayna baszler and once again 
Peyton Royce will retain the championship in a four and three quarter star match. Good job. That blew up, but five more points to their feud regardless. Shayna Baszler and Peyton Royce put on a hot match, boosted openings by 5% each. A lot of viewers turned in to watch. Awesome. Peyton Royce and Shayna Baszler blow off at four and a half stars. I quit match incre increase for this event. Good job, everyone. Still going well. Okay, let's continue here. Peyton Royce, Tony Storm, Siri Toad down down the title laying in the mat between them peyton royce points her finger at tony storm and dares him <laughs> to make a move okay whoever made this didn't really know what they're doing it doesn't seem like referees enter the ring break both wrestlers apart both still holding their stares at one another and a five-star segment oh only 48 okay not as on the feud not as hot as i wanted it to be but uh, five stars for the the segment that's good with me peyton royce tony storm put on a hot segment boosting their overness and new challenger fuse started why is there alignment down Ugh, i don't know i don't know anyway and in the main event of the evening guys we got the war games match the six person war games match for the world championship we got so many feuds in here so many so much animosity so much bad blood between these superstars who is going to win the world championship it is going to be kevin owens the brand new world champion picking up the victory in that war games match what an amazing match at six stars yeah it is six stars okay dude okay that's awesome okay so the new challenger feud the tag team feud went up by nine uh rivals feud between braun Strowman and biggie went up by nine and then uh greatest wrestler blow off went up by nine uh which just blew off sorry um, yes, okay, that's exactly what I wanted out of this war game. So the planning actually paid off this time. Like like I said, last year I got a five-star match, which is nothing to complain about, but like I got five-star and higher matches without this much planning. So I assume when I want to put in all this planning and all this backstory and all this rivalry and things like that, I assume it would be higher than five stars. And that's what we got tonight with that six-star match, guys. I think we easily pulled out a five-star show tonight i don't think it's even a question if that we got a five-star show we might got higher than a five-star show i don't know but uh yeah kevin owens the new world champion let's see the news here peyton Roy no peyton Royce, tony stone put on a hot segment i don't know if i read that already greatest wrestler feud between alistair black and biggie blew off at four and three quarter stars and war games effect increased and it didn't say anything about kevin owens this was for the world championship right yeah so it didn't say anything about kevin owens winning the world championship down here which is weird because they usually do say it but anyway and that is a show for tonight guys i think we got i'm gonna i'm gonna just go for it i'm gonna say we got five and one quarter star one yes we got five and one quarter star we're gonna get so many fans right now unless everyone else did really well but five and one quarter star dude, dude that's one of the best shows i've ever had and like i said i was taking a lot of risk here i didn't have uh all the rivalry thing and a lot of people got injured and things fell apart but anyway five and one quarter star let's see here we gain okay twenty nine thousand fans like i said we have a stiff competition now so i can't complain but thirty thousand fans that's a, that's that's a, a lot <laughs> uh AEW lost three thousand fans with a four and three quarter star so with a four and three quarter star they lost a decent amount of fans smackdown lost 200 fans with a four and three quarter star show uh, New Japan lost 22,000 fans with a four and three quarter, three and three quarter star show. Sorry. And then, oh my God, Stardom had a five star show and they still lost 1000 fans. And then Raw had a four and three quarter star show and, and lost 3000 fans. Jesus. Kevin Owens wins big. The NXT World Championship changed hands at NXT TakeOver War Games as Kevin Owens was crowned. The new champions fans are eager to see what the company does with the new championship reign. Fantastic match at NXT TakeOver War Games uh, in, the, in the War Games match. Fantastic match between Shayna Baszler and Peyton Royce. Match of the year contender between Ricochet and B Priestley. War Games has a great match between the Bliss Titan and Inner Circle. Riho and B Priestley in a great match. Match of the year contender between Jeff Hardy and Roderick Strong. Good job. Ricochet got over with the fans. Murphy off to NXT. Reports are circling that Murphy will be joining NXT soon. Okay. Guys, this is awesome. That that could not have gone better. Like that, that's exactly what I wanted from this show. So I am in love with that. Continuing on. Oh, Randy. Everyone is making offers for Randy. No, I don't want to lose you, Randy. I don't want to lose you, Randy Orton. I know you're... Ah, oh, I know it makes a lot of sense for me to let you go because you have no more appearances and you're a part-timer, but I don't want to let you go, Randy. And I don't need 500 bucks. I'm declining it. I'm declining it because I'm going to give him the Resign Plus next year. Decline. Ah! Oh! I'm not going to stay here much longer, Randy. Don't say that. You're hurting my feelings. Okay, no tasks are left here. So let's let me just do this quickly so I don't forget. 
Come here, buddy. I'm going to reassure you. Yes. Okay. What, what was his happiness at? I think it's still pretty high. Yeah. Uh, 64. Okay. That's not amazing, but that's not terrible. It, it could be worse, but anyway, let's see our seven emails. Randy, you're not happy with how he handled the offer. I know. I know. Murphy is very excited to be here. This, this is already so much better than where I was before the Indies. I can't wait to see what you have planned for me. Perfect. Training finished. Shout to Blackheart. Training is now complete. You gained a decent amount of experience. Okay. Reassure failure. Why? Dude, stop. You Stan Burns. You're garbage at this. You keep failing at reassuring people. Proven success. I, I have successfully recruited Fandango. He's now available on the Indies. I'm telling Paul Lopez. Don't care. Dookie has made himself available. Okay. Let's do a couple things quickly here. We'll go to Indies. Fandango. Let's negotiate with Fan Mango. 325 make offer. Perfect. Send the main roster. Perfect. We got Fandango on our brand now. Let's go to Indies again and see who else we want to scoopity doop up here. Scoopity boop bop a day beep boop a dop. Indy Hartwell? Yeah, let's recruit Indy Hartwell. Because she is very young, so she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, we're gonna need to do some training and then we're good to go, guys. Who do we want to church -ch -ch train? Let's train Murphy. The new recruit here what is he not great on ah, he's pretty good on everything let's do stu charisma though and that is everything for tonight guys i am very happy with that, how that went like i said that might have been my best show of all time or i think i might, might have got another one with five and a quarter star i think i've got one before so very excited for that guys and now we are building up to nxt take over the end we have a lot of feuds going into it now brought everything back up we started some new feuds now we got some new champions new things happening everyone's back from the suspension as well so we're working with a full roster again and now we can finally uh resume that push for damian priest after he's been off for that month as well as maybe continue pushing the faction as well because Shotzi Blackheart is back as well so I'm excited for the next couple episodes guys we're about to complete two years I've been enjoying the heck out of it I know I say this so much but I love this game actually a lot it's a lot of fun to play seems like you guys are enjoying it a lot so make sure to show me love make sure to let me know uh, that you guys are enjoying this series and I will keep it up for you and as well as always recommend me games you guys want me to play i'm always looking for suggestions for new things that you guys want to see and in the meantime guys if you did enjoy this episode make sure to hit that like button it does help me out a lot also right underneath me here there is a subscribe button if you guys want to click that to get notified whenever i release videos so you do not miss one and then over on the right we got some more videos if you guys want to keep watching thanks so much guys